Hi Virgo, welcome to your September uh, Tarot and Astrology reading with me, Melissa, Island Girl Tarot. So glad you found the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're basically starting over from scratch. Um, the astrology for the month of September is pretty busy. Um, you've got, let's see, Venus turns direct September the 4th. Jupiter goes direct. I mean, Jupiter goes retrograde September the 4th. Uh, the third and the fourth, depending on where you live. Um, and Mercury goes direct September the 15th. Now, the Mercury stationing direct is um, going to be happening with this trine to Jupiter. And that's in your first and your ninth houses. This is literally what you believe, what you think. Um, and it's also travel, long distance travel at that. Unexpected travel with Uranus sitting there too. Um, the other thing that's happening is Mars is um, uh, quincunxing Saturn. And, you know, that's your seventh, second house. That's relationships in, in, in one of your money houses. So this could be, you know, a relationship is squeezing some money on you in some way this month, or, you know, your partner may want to do something and you just simply can't afford it. Um, and then the other with the Mercury is also in the um, Quincunx um, Chiron. And again, that first eighth house, this could be, this is an old wound and, you know, it, it could be something that is monetarily uh, related since it is in the eighth house, death taxes and other people's money um, in some way, shared finances, shared resources. And again, this could play in, you know, it could be that you want to go on a trip and you guys can't afford it, or the spouse wants to go on a trip and you're looking at the budget and saying, no, we can't. There's some sort of irritation is the best way to put it between money and what you want to do and how you want to do it uh, and what you're thinking about as well. So let's get into the cards and see what we've got a little bit to see for Virgo. Happy birthday, Virgo. I forgot to say that. Happy, happy birthday. Mine's the 16th. So the um, Mercury stationing and all of that is happening right on my son. So uh, let's see what For Virgo for the month of September. Well, Virgo, um, the good news is whatever hits us this month, we'll be able to deal with it. We've got the magician here. And um He's telling us that we've got all the tools that we need to deal with whatever we need to. And that's always good. I am showing there's delays and um, um, just things are not moving. It's like a standstill almost with the two of swords and the four of cups. Um, if you are trying to travel, you know, there's probably going to be some delays, some Mercury retrograde issue, shall we say. Um, there appears to be, it, it looks to be a good month to collaborate with people to make money. And I, cause I've got the Ace of Pentacles here and then I've got the King and Point of the King of Cups and the King of Wands with the Three of Wands is the last card out. And that is abundance in some way. That that is this is some sort of, you know, you're you're watching your your hard work is finally starting to pay off. And it could be also that you have decided to collaborate with others uh, on some uh, project that you've been thinking about working on. The other good news, whatever it is that, that and of course this is going to hit all of us differently, but whatever um, the thing that you've been working on, you're almost done with it. Your, your goal is in sight. You don't have that much further to go to reach it. 
uh, but you have been either stalemated or felt delayed or what have you. I do think one of these kings coming in, the king of wands or the king of cups, is going to bring in some ideas uh, and some options and some solutions for you to, to go ahead and um, follow through with and to help get this, this block unblocked. Um, this two of swords needs to get unstuck so that you can move forward to get through the reading, to get through this three of wands. And I do think this, and of course the kings don't have to be male. They can be female. I mean, you know, uh, and with two of them out, it's half the zodiac because it's going to be king of wands is a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and the king of cups is a water sign, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and, um, Okay, where did it go? Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Cancer, of course. Um, so just keep your eyes open with whatever it is that you've got going on. Again, if you're traveling and you run into travel delays, you've got the wherewithal to fix them. Um, if it's monetarily related, then with the Ace of Pentacles out, you're going to be able to take care of it. You know, it in one way, shape, or form, it's probably one of these kings has got some sort of good idea. Or if it is a money, money, monetary issue that you're having to deal with, one of these kings could be like the guy at the bank or whoever's going to, you know, sign off on credit or loan or whatever you may have. So do keep me posted. Virgo rising. This uh, reading is for Virgo sun, moon, and rising. And uh, that is the... Uh, Mercury retrograde is not stationing right on my sun. Um, the full moon that we just had was pretty much right on it, though. And, um, but it will be affecting me, um, being a 23-degree um, sun. And, you know, I've still said that wrong. That full moon, what I'm seeing is in my chart, I'm doing my chart in my head, is my Pluto is right on my midheaven at 8 degrees. So that's where the full moon was. and um, so it'll be interesting to see how it affects me as well. But I hope you guys have a great month and happy birthday, Virgo, again. And do like, share, subscribe. Please leave those comments. I'd love to see how this stuff plays out for you guys. You can reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com and keen.com slash islandgirl. That's K-E-E-N dot com slash islandgirl. And both of those island girls has two L on the end of girls. Take care, Virgo. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.